Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Folks, you can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Five ways to love your neighbor during the coronavirus. You should always love them, but this is a special edition. Christ's love compels us to love others amid seasons of uncertainty and chaos. With the growing uh, COVID-19 or COVID-19 pandemic, the church finds itself uncharted territory. Christians love community. In fact, the early church was built upon fellowship. In Acts 2, 46-47, it says, Day after day they met as a group in the temple and had their meals together in their homes. Breaking bread and praising God together, that's how the church grew. But the coronavirus challenges is how we normally do things in church. It says we can't be within arm's length of each other. We can't eat together. We can't even meet under the same roof. Yet, social distances provides an unprecedented opportunity to love in new ways, to love outside the four walls of the church. To accept the uh, ecclesia is not a building, but a body of people who want to reflect the light of Jesus to an anxious world. And now, more than ever, the world needs this hope, my friends. The coronavirus is upon us. Here are the five ways that you can love your neighbor during this uh, pandemic. Number one is to reach out to them. Call, text, Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp. Use whatever means possible to contact your friends, family, and neighbors and show them that you do care about them. No, help carry one another's burdens and in this way, you will obey the law of Christ in Galatians 6 2. Number two, pray for them. Ask God to remove fear, protect them from the virus, and of course, strengthen them as, they, as their daily routine has been disrupted. First of all, I ask you to pray for everyone. Ask God to help and bless them all, and tell God how thankful you are for each of them in 1 Timothy 2 1. Folks, Number three is point them to scripture. God's word offers hope and comfort. Invite others to uh, join the, the Bible quarantine for a few minutes of scripture and encouragement on Instagram. Your word is a lamp to guide me in the light of my path in Psalms 119, 105. Number four is to say thank you. Show gratitude to medical uh, professionals government, uh, officials, your employer, your pastor, and others who are working around the clock to keep us safe and connected. And so encourage one another and help one another, just as you are now doing. First Theologians 5.11. Number five, invite them to a live stream worship or videos like I do. As the church finds new creative ways to worship together, invite others to experience the power of Jesus from their home. Some people have gotten out of the habit of meeting for worship, but we must not do that in Hebrews 10, 25. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger and can change your life. God loves all of us. Please reach out to people and tell them that you care during not only the coronavirus epidemic, but also throughout your life in general. Because God truly does care about all of us, and you should show some of that caring towards one another. May God bless you. I hope to talk to you guys tomorrow. Be safe, but most importantly, be healthy. And reach out and keep your